Yo guys, what's up, it's Xperience. Welcome back to another Call of Duty 2020 video this time, actually. So guys, today we actually got some information on what COD 2020 is going to be like. We got finally our first tidbit of info from David Vonderhaar. And it's actually kind of weird. So months ago, David Vonderhaar kind of snapped on Twitter and he started like tweeting at Trump and like, it was kind of crazy, man. I don't know if any of you guys saw this, but David Vonderhaar, the studio head over at uh, Treyarch, who shipped Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. I don't know how many CODs he's shipped with Treyarch, but he's uh, one of the bigger higher up guys. Yeah, I think he was mostly involved with Blackout in Black Ops 4. But anyway, so he went on a tirade, went crazy, uh, and then deleted his Twitter account. And then like no one knew, like it seemed like David Vonderhaar had left Treyarch. Like he no longer worked for Treyarch or Call of Duty. It just kind of felt like it was giving off that vibe, but no one was really sure. But it does look like he is actually working on the next Call of Duty. And on top of that, he gave us information today on our first bit of info. Like, will the game have advanced movement? So let's go ahead and talk about that. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a like, guys. Super appreciated. And also, I do want to mention, I made a video on my second channel today talking about the whole situation in Iraq and Iran. There actually was some new developments on that. It looks like Iraq has voted to expel united states troops from iraq so if you want to see my thoughts on that and the info link in the description below but let's jump into it so this is actually interesting so today david vonderhaar tweeted at someone who was replying to him and uh, this is what it says so Treyarch studio design director david vonderhaar appears to have given a small hint as to the call of duty 2020 game in a couple of tweets this morning a fan replied to a post of his saying quote you better have jetpacks in this next cod unquote to which vaughn replied no and i'll put that tweet on screen for you guys to check out another fan followed up by suggesting that jetpacks will revive the call of duty franchise to which vaughn said he still has ptsd from the fan reaction to the jetpack era of call of duty he even says fans hung him from the highest branch for having it in black ops 3 and you guys will see the tweet it says jetpacks will revive cod you replied with such short-term memories you hung me to the highest branch no no i have ptsd there's still no official information on cod 2020 beyond that it will be developed by Treyarch with sledgehammer games and raven software supporting the studio with the game rumors have suggested the game will take place in the cold war era encompassing the vietnam war as well as part of the game a new title will also be launching with the next generation consoles that are coming this holiday season now this is actually pretty interesting because there actually were leaks saying that the next call of duty was going to be a cold war era game and and that it was going to be a reboot of sorts for the Treyarch Black Ops series. So it wasn't going to be Black Ops 5. Think of it more like we just got Modern Warfare this year. This is a, a reboot, really, of what Modern Warfare was. It has similar characters, but a completely different universe. And so because of that, uh, it looks like we might be getting the same thing with Treyarch. We might be getting another Black Ops game, but it's probably going to be a reboot. It's probably just going to be Call of Duty Black Ops, which is kind of cool because that means that we could get the original zombies crew back and they could do something different they could go instead of the mystic way they could go maybe real or or you know completely different direction not tied to the previous storyline or they could just go off a completely new crew so it'll be interesting i'm excited to see what they do also kind of worried because they don't have a lot of time to work on it and it'll be interesting to see what they can pull off they do have raven software helping them out and also sledgehammer games which is good a full studio that has released a game by themselves so if we have three studios working together I'm assuming they'll be able to pull it off, but I'm still kind of worried two year term uh, kind of turnaround as opposed to a three year cycle that they had before. And it'll be kind of hard to cut back. So we'll definitely have to wait and see. But if it's a Cold War era game, I'm kind of excited to check it out. Kind of was assumed that it was going to be boots on the ground if it was Cold War era. So maybe this whole confirming there is no advanced movement might be a hint towards that and say like, yep, boots on the ground, probably not some futuristic Call of Duty. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like on the video guys it's super appreciated incredibly helpful i wanted to get this information to you guys because we are actually already headed towards call of duty 2020 man we're probably about another four or five months we'll probably start seeing the teasers and stuff for cod 2020 and this is the first bit of info official info that we have gotten so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video drop a like on the video guys it's super appreciated 
and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a lot more Call of Duty Modern Warfare news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, special badges, and a whole a bunch more. So check it out only if you are willing and able to. And last but not least, if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. Go ahead and give me a follow over there. Link in the description below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.